empower yourself. Well, uh, what do you mean? Well, how do you get the power? Energy. Energy. Energy? Okay, let's cover this first because you're the diet guy, you know? Uh, but, um, well, first of all, let's get your diet right. Um, is that what you mean, or? No, it's, uh, we just spoke about the environment uh, for people. It's important to give. Yeah. But uh, you have to work on this. How do you get the power to uh, get the attraction? Uh, sorry, I don't see you at the moment. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. How do you get people interested in you? Okay. That was my general question. Yeah. Right. Um, then these two are kind of linked. So one of the main things that I do um, when I get a coaching client specifically, not normal clients um, that go on a pro program or something like that, is I do a session with them where we discover their code or what Simon Sinek calls the why. And the reason I don't do that with normal clients is because you can go very, very wrong if you don't do it properly. So the why session, um, and you should read Simon Sinek's book, A Start With Why. It'll give you an idea of how you should start thinking. The problem with that book alone is that it's not clear enough on how to establish your why. So I share also in the 30-day challenge how to establish your why. And the reason I only do it with coaching clients is because it takes so long. And what you do specifically is you map out the entire life that you've had, every experience that you've had in health, wealth, and relationships. And then as the facilitator, which is me, I'm the facilitator, I'm not a coach, I'm not a trainer, I'm a facilitator. I let the person speak, I map out the entire why, and at one point something will come that the person himself or herself will say, and it's a sentence that will describe every action and every subconscious thing that this person has ever done. The gut feeling. So this why, this code, is the translation of your gut feeling. And the moment you can put that into words, that's the moment when all of this becomes super easy. That's the moment when people that don't like you won't be attracted by you, and the people that do like you will love you. Because in one moment, you'll be able to tell them why you do what you do. And my why is to inspire freedom in others so that they can follow their passions and become the best they can be. Why am I standing here is because you guys are struggling with something. And in my world, I want everyone to be at a point where they have ultimate freedom. So by me standing here and sharing and answering your questions, I'm getting you closer to that. And in my world, that brings me to happiness, which links back to, there aren't many innovators in this area, unfortunately, yet it's one of our biggest problems. But Aristoteles, 2,000 plus years ago, wrote about achieving ultimate happiness. And he then writes six or seven things that you need to combine at the same thing, and it's an activity that you balance, and then you achieve that happiness. Where, you can actually take those six or seven things and divide them into health, wealth, and relationships. If you have health, wealth, and relationships completely systematized and you know what and controlled and everything works there properly, then um, you'll, you'll achieve that happiness. And the why guides you to knowing where you want to go in all those areas. So every decision that you take will get you closer to, to a balanced life that gets you happy. And then the energy comes then from being authentic to your why. People talk, companies talk about being authentic, but how do you be authentic? Once everything is written down in a sentence and you know what you stand for, and it literally explains every action in life that you take, that's the moment when you'll, you'll get there. Like every action you'll take, you'll get there. You'll get to the point where you have the energy you, you want. Um, there are people that have a really shitty diet that have a ton of energy. It's because they do what they love. 
Now, if you want to get to the next level, because my why is to become the best I want to be, right? So when I went into diets, I went into the biohacker community. I went into the longevity community. I went to these conferences where I talked to these doctors and I was like, should I eat this or should I eat that? Should I exercise this way or should I exercise that way? And some of these people were PhD students who researched that for five years and then they would share their, their stuff with me and I'd be like, oh, so that's not very good. How did I know, I, sh I shared in the beginning the client that, that we helped and he's now healthy. How did I know that it was gluten sensitivity? Because when I was going to those conferences, you had doctors that spoke about gluten as a thing that doesn't matter, which is good, and I, I saw their research, so it's something I, I have in the back of my mind. But I saw three or four doctors um, that were very underground, don't get a lot of stage time because they're actually doing stuff, um, and they shared their research on how specific gluten actually does affect certain people and more so than you think and that it's not that much of a fat um, and so you start think I didn't say to my client it's gluten I, di I didn't know I started tracking him and then all of this background that I had I started realizing oh maybe it's gluten like those doctors share because he, he fits the profile of the people that work in the research and somehow he has the same symptoms so I'm, I'm diverting but in essence Energy comes from being authentic with your why. Also, it comes from diet. So if you're, if you're struggling, if you're procrastinating, diet will help. You'll sleep less. Instead of eight hours, you'll sleep five hours and still be healthy. Um, actually, sleeping less out of research. There's a really big research being done. That, that, that was done. The biggest one that we have, I think, which they researched the amount of people and how much they slept and then they uh, discovered the people that sleep eight hours and the people that sleep five hours and the people that sleep six and a half hours and apparently the ones that were eight hours die sooner or have more diseases while the five hours have less than that but six and a half hours seem to be like the perfect thing and there were a lot of conclusions taken out of that but the one conclusion that you can take out of that is your sleep determines how healthy you are. If you sleep a lot, it means you've done something unhealthy the day before. If you don't sleep a lot, as your natural state, um, well, it depends. If it's six and a half hours or five hours, then it's fine. Uh, but it shows that maybe you are healthy, your diet is in place, everything you're eating is good, the way you're exercising is good, and so on and so on. So definitely figure out your diet, but first figure out your why and what you do, what you do, why you do what you do and energy then you will start attracting the people around you that share your why and they will reinvigorate you they will give you the space to be yourself which again will give you energy and then it just and same goes with companies right so my companies share my why because i'm the founder right so what kind of companies do we work for companies that align with my why and if they don't then the relationship usually ends after three months but if it does, then it lasts a year, two years, three years, hopefully longer. Because the why aligns. And no matter how much you don't screw up, obviously, but if you screw up, it'll be like a minor thing because that's not what your relationship is based on. But I can tell you that, for instance, my team works harder when we choose clients that, and faster when we choose clients that they believe in. Whereas if we have man we had clients where they don't believe in and Jesus Christ I was like Skype calls constantly no it's fine like see and that takes energy because we're not aligned with our why then so does that answer your question okay. but yeah um, and then I have like little hacks and this is the one thing that I share always is activated charcoal which is if you eat really bad stuff um, activated charcoal will give you the energy to... So activated charcoal, don't overtake it and read the symptoms and read the research behind it. But activated charcoal, so when you eat something bad that you shouldn't be eating, you become slower. Everybody has had like, like a really big meal and afterwards it's like, oh, I need to chill a little bit. So the number one thing that you should already be recognizing is that if you had a really good meal, you have more energy than when you started that meal. That's how you recognize a good meal. If you have this, oh, I can't, I can't do it. 
that's not a good meal because all the energy of your body is going into processing that food. So my hack is, is uh, activate charcoal. Activate charcoal is something they give if you had like an overdose with alcohol, they go to the hospital, they give you activate charcoal. So it what it does is it attracts all poisons and toxins into your gut and then natural. Anyway, so... Uh, does anybody know who's, how you make it? Can you make you it? Just does yeah, you just buy it, it in the pharmacy. How oh, does it look like? Black. 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 Yeah. It's just charcoal. Go to the pharmacy, ask activate charcoal, and uh, it'll be fine. Uh, but you have to also understand what it is, why it is. Right. Uh, we are carbon creatures. Right. Yeah, that's our central thing. Right. Uh, it's also really strange that if you look in a chemical way, uh, it is six, six neutrons, six protons, and uh, six electrons. But uh, you can make it yourself. It's really easy. Don't make it yourself, please. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the pharmacy and, and uh, you can, no, you can make he's it very yourself. good really at that easy. stuff. Um, and I recommend talking to him afterwards. All right. Don't make it yourself, please. <laughs> Go to the pharmacy. Uh, unless you're really skilled like he is. Um, so yeah, those are like small hacks on energy that I have. I share more again in the 30-day challenge, like I said. Uh, but uh, yeah, that answers it for everyone, I think. It's like a lot of things that I jumped on, but like it comes down to know your why, um, improve your diets, and check with sleep if your diet is enough. And lastly, get activated for <laughs> So.